What's up guys, welcome back. While the shoot 'em up is a well established genre, the subgenre of cute 'em ups is a much rarer breed indeed. One of the very first games which falls into that category is Konami's Stinger Moro Twin B, which I'm proud to own for the Famicom Disk System, boxed and all. Just have a look at this almost ancient manual featuring hand drawn art and all that. And having once tasted it, one is destined for more. Enter Cotton Reboot for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, a game which I had never heard of until the press release dropped into my mailbox. And as it stands, it's an absolute delight if you're a fan of the genre, a shmup which I regularly pick up and play even in short bursts of time. So without further ado, let's check it out. Cotton Reboot, developed by Beep and published by my friends over at In In Games, who were kind enough to send over this review copy, thank you very much, is a frantic shoot 'em up with cutesy characters, storied progression, goofs and silly sketches, over the top scoring multipliers and unique gameplay elements. The release of Cotton Reboot at this point in time is perhaps as much a surprise to me as it is to longtime shmup fans, as this is essentially a remastered version of the original Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams released on the Japanese home computer the legendary Sharp X68000 back in 1993. Here's a fun fact, the original game was designed so tailor fit for the X68000 that the LEDs embedded into the original keyboard lit up in sync with the music of the game as you can see in this clip. Wonderful stuff this! And as a Japan tech enthusiast with a taste for the 80s and 90s, I did look up the system on eBay only to find out that it is currently listed just north of two and a half thousand US dollars. Thus I am eternally grateful to Beep and in in games to see the original version of the game being included in the digital edition of Cotton Reboot on Nintendo Switch, something which more often than not is exclusive to a physical pickup. Sure it doesn't come with the LED quirk of the legendary shop machine, but it is as close as I can get. The game features several gameplay modes, including said original X68000 Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams and the remastered version playable in both time attack mode in either a 2 or 5 minute stretch and the so called arrange mode, which is everything the original game is and more. Other than this, you'll find the online leaderboards under the ranking, options and a really nicely done in-game manual, fully voiced over in spirit of the story mode something which I highly recommend checking out before starting your playthrough. In this game you'll control your character, Cotton during your first playthrough and after clearing your first run you can select the other playable characters, Silk, Appley and Needle in the options menu as you move from left to right, battling all sorts of enemies right up until a boss shows up before moving on to the next stage. The game features a total of 7 stages, which are linked together with goofy clips showing the protagonist, a young witch named Cotton, along with her fairy buddy named Silk, as she gets pulled deeper into her quest of saving the fairy kingdom, unbeknownst to her, as she is made to believe she'll end up enjoying some amazing candies, which are called willows. This makes for a light-hearted setting full of funny moments and nicely drawn artworks. The stages are nicely arranged, nothing too difficult to maneuver through with just enough variety in enemies and bosses. In fact, the bosses are rather unique and make for nice bouts without shouting out in frustration. Hashtag Darius Burst and for that matter, any Darius game really. And just before going into another sketch featuring Cotton and Silk on their silly adventures, you'll enter Tea Time, in which you have to be quick about collecting bonus points in a limited amount of time as this game is all about that high score. In order to achieve any sort of respectable scoring, you'll have to play by the rules, which means really understanding the gameplay elements and play here. In short, this amounts to using the gems which appear on screen to increase the scoring multiplier by hitting them with your shots, which in turn redirects your fire to your enemies. By doing this, you see the color of your gems change to ever darker shades, which means higher scores. It also means you should consider picking them up to charge your magical attacks, which are a plenty in this game, to put them to good use. So you'll find yourself using your main method of firing, both frontal and dropping bombs from the sky, using magic attacks and your special attacks 
all the while hitting gems and enemies alike, collecting pickups, bombs and other items and not to forget, avoid incoming enemy fire. Personally, I am a fan of the time attack modes as those provide short bursts of intense action and although the game features a nicely done story, I am more than happy just getting into the action right away and see if I manage to appear anywhere on those leaderboards. So far I've made it into the top 200, but I'm sure you'll do better than that. That is, if you manage to pick up the game either digitally or physically through strictly limited games. At the time of recording, the regular and collector's editions for both the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 are still available, but the fan favorite X68000 editions are completely sold out. So don't sleep on this one for long. And with that guys, I am signing off. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed today's review. I'm keen on hearing from you and seeing those thumbs go up if you have. And I will see you next time.